But I will share something else with you that's kind of private. For me, tonight is also very special because this is the first time that I've had the honor of addressing a high school graduating class. So today is very special also. Now, when I was invited to speak a couple of months ago, I began thinking about how I would craft my comments. So, a good starting point was my high school graduation in 1974. Now, I know many students are thinking, God, that's medieval history. That goes back several, several generations, but it wasn't that long ago. 36 years from now, you'll be standing at the podium speaking to a graduating class. And you'll think, God, back in 2010, I graduated from high school. Now, I thought about the guest speaker who spoke at my graduation. I don't know what he talked about. I know who it was. It was Dr. Dale Purcell, a college president, and I also know that he spoke for 51 minutes. <laughs> he spoke for 51 minutes. And as I crafted my comments, I kept that in mind, not to try to outdo him in terms of time. <laughs> But I called a special advisor I use whenever I talk to a, a younger crowd. I called my daughter. Actually, I text messaged her. Yes, I know how to text message. I learned about five years ago. She just finished her freshman year at University of Louisville. And I asked her, I'm going to address a high school graduation in two weeks. What should I talk about? Now, I'll tell you, I was somewhat disappointed because I did not get back a text message in reply. I got a phone call. <laughs> and she said, Dad, whatever you do, make sure your speech is very, very short. <laughs> she didn't tell me what to talk about, but she said, make sure that whatever you talk about, your speech is very, very short. I promise tonight my speech will be very, very short well under 51 minutes, I might add. Tonight is a very special night. And as I stand here, I know you're waiting on some words of wisdom. You're waiting on some words of wisdom. But if you look at the AF North's, AF North International School's vision, responsible citizens, original thinkers, active learners, and reflective problem solvers, those are words of wisdom. And you've lived that for anywhere from one to four years. Also, your class motto of, quote, we'll either find a way or make one, end quote. Those are words of wisdom. And I may disappoint you this evening, but I don't have any words, plural, of wisdom for you. I don't have any words of wisdom. I have one word, and if you forget everything I talk about tonight, I ask you to keep this one three-syllable word in mind, and that one word is attitude. You're going to go through life, 75% of this class will go to college, some will go into the military, you will do a number of things, all of you will accomplish a lot in your post-high school lives, but the one thing you have control over attitude. It's not so much what happens to you. Most of that's out of your control anyway, largely. But how you react to that, whether it's success or sometimes a shortcoming, is based on that one three-syllable word called attitude. <laughs> 